Okay, let's take a look at this eastern wall and how we can change its shape to match the floor that we defined a little bit earlier. This is really easy, but it is gonna, going to require that we use geometry mode. So I'm going to rotate my perspective view around a little bit so that we're kind of corresponding to the proper side here in the view. Also, I'm going to take my top viewport and temporarily maximize that. So let's go ahead and click on the maximize viewport button. And I want to enter geometry mode. So go ahead and click the geometry mode button located over here in the toolbox. Now previously we were in pen mode when we drew the western wall, so now let's switch back over to edit mode. What I want to do is add some edges into this wall, basically big splits that will run all the way down the face of it, all the way around it, so that we can then take the central section and slide it out. Now if you're unfamiliar with modeling operations, that may seem a little daunting at first, but it's very easy. So actually let me demaximize the viewport, and I'm going to come over here in perspective, and since we're in geometry mode, this, uh, this mesh, this BSP brush, is nicely highlighted right now. I'm going to click on this edge. Now, it may take a little bit of precision clicking to actually select an edge. You'll know because it'll be highlighted in orange. If you miss, you'll end up grabbing a polygonal face. But if you put your crosshair right on that edge and click, and you see sometimes it even takes a couple of tries, there you go. You'll grab your edge. Now, what I want you to do once you have that edge selected is click the split button. And watch what that does it creates a split right down the center of your brush all the way around. Now I want to move the vertices that were just created from that split. To move these, here in the top view, I'm going to hold down Control and Alt. Now by holding those two buttons, I can now drag with the left mouse button, I can do a marquee selection, and that's going to grab all of these vertices. So again, that's Control and Alt, and you can drag out a marquee selection. Now let's slide these guys up in the x-axis, and what I want to do is basically line them up with this corner. So if I deselect real quick, I'll just draw a red line so you can see that those are lining up really nicely and there's 256 units between them. Now I want to do the same thing again. So let's come back over to this brush, make sure it's selected. Now I'm going to select this longer edge like so and click split one more time. Now in the top view, I'm going to hold down control and alt again, drag a marquee selection box around these new vertices and I'll slide these down so that they line up with the opposite corner. So again, I'll just drag out a little line so that you can see how they're lining up. Awesome. So now with that done, we just need to take the central panel of this wall and slide it back and everything else will just line up for us. So let's select the brush one more time. Again, holding down Control and Alt, I'm going to drag a box around all four of these vertices in the top view and then I'll just slide these to the right in the Y axis until they line up with the edge of the floor. And if you take a look in perspective, you can see the result. However, the world geometry, as we've seen before, is not updating. It won't do that until we rebuild. So let's go ahead and get out of geometry mode now that that's all lined up. We'll click the Build Geometry button, close out our window, and there we go. So at this point, we actually have a level that we could run around and play in. I'm going to take just a moment and build the lighting just so we can... Uh, get that calculated, and then just take a quick walk around, get an idea of the overall size of the level, and see how things are looking. And that build is done. We're getting some warnings about null material references. Whenever you see this, it basically means that you've just got this blue and white checker texture somewhere, and generally you don't want that. But it's okay for now. We're just testing stuff. So now with lighting rebuilt, things are very, very bright, but that's okay for now. Let's just right-click on the floor and choose Play from here. And here we are inside the rough kind of general area of our level. Now we still don't have a ceiling, but the ceiling is going to be kind of an interesting endeavor, so I was saving that for the very end. So that is going to wrap things up for this video. Go ahead and save your level, and then we'll move forward.